Hey, love guys, Susie Good here, and welcome back to Star Stable. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you get a notification when I post new videos, and click on the little bell so you get a notification right away. You guys, we are on the 100th episode! I can't believe how fast everything has gone so far, and that we actually have reached the 100th episode! That's amazing! I think... It will be just even better from here because we are in high level now, things are happening and I have seen that we have a new main quest up at the Silverglade Manor so I had actually, or I have saved it up kind of for this special 100th episode because I really really want to have something exciting to do and of course we're gonna do a lot of things today and I celebrate the 100th episode with another new Yvergian warm blood horse. It's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm really looking forward to begin the 100th episode and I hope my voice will stay with me today because <coughs> I'm beginning, I'm beginning to get sick so so bad timing but we're gonna get through it anyway. All right, let's start the 100th episode up at Silverglade Manor. And I think we are going to speak to Linda, I think. And I have seen there's some new horses here and new Andalusian. Andalusian? What Andalusian? I will search it up. Is out. So let's have a sh short look. There we go. Close a look at it. Here is the white one. It looks a little weird from this angle though, but I think the horse is very beautiful. Look, <laughs> look at the ears. How cute is that? It's a little weird. I don't know why it looks so weird from my angle. And here we have red looking horse. Or is it brown? Not sure, but then we'll try to not buy a horse yet because I have been buying some horses lately. <laughs> Alright, here's Linda and she has a quest for us, so let's speak to her. Hey, Linda. Hey, Stella. It's been a while. I've got so much catching up to do after being away for so long. What's that? Have I heard anything from Alex? Yes, in fact I have. She's on her way back and I think she'll be here tomorrow. We will sleep at the Civic Glade Manor. We're gonna continue this. There are rumors that... The druids are organizing a council meeting. Did you hear about that? No. I didn't. You haven't? Strange. I'm sure they want you to participate in the council. You have helped both of us and the druids a lot. And I know that the druids, the keepers of AD, are watching out for you. Alright. Alex Circus. Yeah. I know that. We better talk with Alex when she arrives tomorrow, and then we will know whether there will be a council meeting or not. But guess what? I heard that a circus is coming to Moreland. Maybe you could check that out in the meantime. It was Maya in Moreland who told me. Ask her about the de deals. <laughs> Ask about the details in where the circus is. Take a look and check if anything mm, mysterious is going on there. I have my suspicions. So agree. You will check with Maya where the circus is, circus is, and then we will meet back here tomorrow when Alex is back. Great. Oh, my voice is so out of it today. But we're gonna get through it. To the circus then. No, Moreland. Kidding. Moreland. Hey, Maya. Do you know the circus that we already have been seeing? Stella, he. Do we miss you here, Morlin? Don't worry, Stella, we have lots to do, but there are loads of newcomers here to help. So feel free to help Linda and the others as soon as you find Justin. I'm sure that I'm sure that's what Thomas wants most of all right now. The circus? Yeah, the circus. So Linda told you I saw a circus? That's right. Have you seen a wizard carriage up on Nilmer's Highlands? West of the abandoned farm? It actually looks like they are setting up a full circus there. It's already up though. <laughs> I don't know what they are doing, but I have seen some people who 
we're doing something. Take a look up on the most highland, Stella. We have already met Idris and his very special assistant or friend or... And I, he's not a clown, so I will not call him clown, but he's something, that little guy. <laughs> Hello, Idris. Long time no see. How are you? What do we have here? A tiny horse and her human rider. We have met before, so you know me. May I ask who you are and what you have done with my... Yester? Nothing! You know me! I am the great Idris. I come to you in my extraordinary extraordinary carnival and will offer you wonders you have never seen before i know already is the circus coming to town <laughs> that's one way of putting it i'm setting up my carnival here in the hill it will be something extraordinary you will see we will have strange and funny people doing strange and wonderful things we shall perform magic like you have never seen before i bring True miracles. But now, over two more important things. You know nothing about Jester. Okay. He took off. Can you help me find him? He gets lost easily. The silly little fool. I heard his bells ringing down the road here to the south. Maybe he's out there wondering about? That's explain why the race is always out there. <laughs> so maybe we will... Have the race at the circus from now on not far out here because the race is inside the circus tent hey jester ouch what's this uh one four legged and one two legged that's six legs all together six thick thistle sticks so you must be both horse the rider then yes yeah <laughs> we are you think I'm weird? I think you weird. Did Mr. Idris the Great send you? Well then, I will gladly follow you back to him. I am, um, as you can see, very lost. Um, the tent is right behind us. You can see it. I think I'm a little. I think I'm a little stupid. You see, Mr. Idris says I am, and he's always right. At least so he says. That's not nice to say someone is stupid. I will have a serious talk with Idris, I promise. Wait, don't ride too fast, or I won't keep up. As you can see, I have very short legs. Oh, we are going in that speed. I will not record all that. <laughs> oh, we start running a bit, but still. I will be back when we are at the circus tent. All right, finally. That took a while, but... Oh, you're standing over there. So, hopefully now we can come up here and take the race here. Or get the race from here instead of over there. Yeah, and I can see we have the perfect outfit for visiting the circus today. <laughs> Good work, horsewoman. I hope the little Jester didn't bore you too much on the way. He only talks gibberish, anyway. What's your name? What's your name? Stella. Neat. Neat. <laughs> mm. Thank you so much for helping me find the jester. Do you like animals? Maybe funny circus animals? Look in the cages and tell me what you think about them. Uh, there's not, well, nothing here. and uh, Only a horse that is not inside the cage. Nothing of interest. Not surprised. Hmm. Idris? Was? What was I supposed to see in there? Empty? You're kidding me. You don't see any animals at all in the cages? Hmm. Interesting. Thanks anyway. I promise you will see them another day. Maybe you can even have one to take home with you. But you can't get any just now, since you can't even see them. That will seem strange. Yeah. Well, Stella, the jester was searching for five leaf clovers for me when he got lost. You can't even handle a simple task like that. I'm convinced that you are much better at it than him. I cannot see them myself, something about my eyes. 
There are a lot of things that only I can see and no one else. But fire leaf flowers elude me. To some, fire leaf flowers are easy to find if you just put your mind to it. I think you are you are one of those people. Just close your eyes and count to five. When you open your eyes again, you will see five leaf flowers all over the place. One, two, three, four, five. And whoa. Yeah, he was right. Oh, we need five five leaf flower. <laughs> clovers. Ironic. Five, five leaf clovers. Here you go. Oh, incredible, Stella. Completely incredible. You're not so bad at performing miracles yourself, you know. Well, that small matter is taken care of. But actually, they are not for me. Or yes, I put one of them in my hat. Isn't it nice? Anyway. There's a lovely lady who should have these. She's waiting by the gate in Cliffside County, north of the riding north of the riding arena. Maybe you and your fast horse could deliver them to her. Take the riding arena road behind the vineyard, right to the south part of the overlook chasm. Then down to the riding arena following the road north to the iron gate where the lady is waiting for. All right, we take the trailer to see the Glade Manor for that. Oops, easy the horsey. I said easy. All right, here is the riding arena. Let's continue. And yeah, they have also updated, for some reason, of Golden Hills Valley, but we cannot see it yet, but I can see the difference already on the beautiful trees here. Oh, I'm very looking forward to open up this area, that's for sure. Beautiful it is. Ooh. A witch? Are we going to give this five leaves to a witch? I need a picture though. Hi. Pie. Tee <laughs> little girl. I don't think you realize what you have just done. And that's for the best. Trust me, but Thanks. See you again. <laughs> Time to go. I have a lot to prepare. Ah! Say what? She's on a... Uh, what do you call that? A broom? Bye-bye, little girl. I don't need you anymore for now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, she's flying off. Bye. Where are you going? Oh, oh, she's flying into Gold Hills Valley. What? Okay, strange. We'll go back to Linda, all right? This cannot be good. I have a feeling that it's not good. <laughs> all right, Linda. Um, we have given five leaf clovers to a witch. So there was a circus there? Or carnival, as it is called it? They were a bit strange, and you had to help him find five leaf clovers for a witch. That doesn't sound too good. Five leaf clovers are extremely rare. No, I knew it. And can only be found by very special people. And when they are given away, they gain additional magical properties. Uh-oh. There's nothing to do about that now. There are lots of strange characters around there. Around there. Around here these days. It's quite unusual for witches and wizards to show themselves in public. And we gonna be right back with you, Linda. Just gonna sleep. Ah, Alex and Linda. Hello. He there. Great news. As you can see, Alex is back. Hi, Alex. How is everything? Nice to see you again, friends. It's been a long journey and unfortunately quite unsuccessful. Oh, why? Both Lisa and Anne have been traveling the world. Lisa toured with her rock band, playing live all over the world. But people say that some time ago, when the tour was over, she returned to the Yorick stables, picked up Starshine and rode off. Since then, no one has seen or heard from her again. We believe that she is somewhere here on Jorvik. 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 
All right. And was a successful dressage competitor until she vanished one day during a competition in France. There's not a single clue as to where she went. She just disappeared without a trace. This was several months ago and not a word has been heard from her since. Right now, we should concentrate our efforts on finding Lisa. Since she was last seen here on Jorvik, we should be able to pick up her trail. If we can find Lisa, we will be in a better position to go after Justin. And we met Lisa. <laughs> The druids, the keepers of the Dean, have called a council meeting. They have announced that they want you to attend Stella. My knowledge is limited. I don't know how you can get there as it is a very special place. Lynn and I will get there by our own means, but you should speak to with Elizabeth in Veildale. She has the ability to transfer outsiders to the secret stone circle where the meeting will take place. <gasps> Are we going to do that already? <laughs> okay, to Veldale then. Hey, Elizabeth. Things are happening, I can hear. It's great that you could come. I will teach you how to get to the Druids meeting without having the special skills of the Druids or Soul Riders. The path behind my house leads to the four rune stones. Continue past them. Continue past them. There you will find a spiral shaped path surrounded by other rune stones. Be sure to ride in a clockwise spiral along the path until the portal opens in the middle. Ride into the portal and you will travel to the secret stone circle and meet the druid council there. Oh! Listen to the council, ask your questions and talk to me back here again when the meeting is over. Don't reveal how to get there to anyone, promise me? I promise, I promise very much. What? Come on, let's get up there as fast as possible. Finally, we can go to the stone circle. I have been waiting for so long and I have seen it in Starshine Legacy. This is going to be so exciting. Here it is. Oh, I can see the path quite clear. So let's follow it in a clockwise direction. Let's see if so. Ooh, something is happening in the middle there. Can you see it? Oh, we need to keep inside the path. <gasps> it's getting bigger and bigger. Or more shaped. Ooh, come on. Ooh, let's see now. <gasps> there we have it. Okay. Let's travel. Time and space merge. Everything is calm, always in motion. <gasps> wow! It looks amazing! And it's very updated from how it was in Starsha Legacy. But you have the same sign here. This is too cool! Oh, wow. A secret medical place only for the keepers of AD in. Frip! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> then I will have the light voice again. We are the keepers of AD. We greet you, newcomer. I am Frip. Druids and soul riders, we are gathered here today for an extra council. A special welcome also to our newcomer. This is Stella and she's the one I told you about. Well done, Honorable Sunbeam. Stella, it's so sad that we have to meet under these circumstances. When time is short, the cold fingers of darkness reach for us. But we wouldn't have summoned you if it wasn't important. She's not ready. She's too in inexperienced. As far as I know, she doesn't even know how to talk to her horse yet, does she? Talk to my horse? Hmm. You should know that I was against this from the very beginning. I... Wait! 
If we had caught all four of the Soul Riders, we wouldn't need to do this. But Elizabeth Sunbeam guarantees that Stella possesses the necessary qualities to be a legendary, le legendary Soul Rider. Actually, better than anyone in a long time. Tell us, Elizabeth. Thank you, Fripp. I have told you that she passed the test. You know, the first test where you can see which of the four powers you belong to by activating your powers runestone. Your powers runestone. To keep the secret, I've so far only told Fripp about what really happened. Get to the point, Druid. I'm not convinced yet. There's some music. She activated all four rune stones. <laughs> oh. Stella possesses all four powers. As you all know, it's been more than a hundred years since that has happened. This is this innocent little girl has the potential to be the strongest soul rider of all in modern times. Maybe the strongest ever, but enough of that. She needs training and experience, but we don't have the luxury of time right now. Hmm, we didn't have any training either when we started. True, true, but enough of this. And I presume that presume that no one will question her partici participation here any further. Good. We have much more important things to talk about, so we have to do the best we can and find time for training of Stella when the opportunity arises. Let's summarize the situation. We know that Yorick once more is being treated by the Great Darkness, the one called Garnock. We can tell by the illegal and dark magic which has started hunting the neighborhood in a lot of different ways. Even our perspective Stella has noticed this. That's why it's time to perform the light ceremony so we can stop Garnock for now, but once more it's not going to be easy. Alex and Linda are two of the four soul riders that we can get hold of. Lisa and Anne have disappeared. Stella can probably probably replace one of them, but we have to continue our search for Lisa and Anne. Or Anne, because we need four soul riders for the ceremony ceremony. There we go. That light voice really is tiring. <laughs> just just like before, the last book of ceremonies disappeared. Well summarized, Master Fripp. So far, Garnock is not that strong, but we have noticed that there seems to be a lot of strange characters out there who have, who are interested in what we do, and they are curious about the dangerous side effects that happen when Garnox gets stronger. We also have to focus on finding and identifying our enemies before they grow too strong. Mm. Well, the time has come. Let's spread the word to all druids in Jorvik, letting them know that it's time for the ceremony once more. The primary goal for all of us is to find at least one of the disappeared soul riders. Let's call a meeting again soon, when we have more information to share. Thank you all for coming on such short notice, and thank you Stella. I hope you will become a member when the time is right. Please stay and ask some questions if you want. We will try our best to answer them. Questions? Oh, there's a lot. All right, let's try. What are the Keepers of Aideen? We are a group of druids who have been on this island since the dawn of time. We acted in secrecy much more in the past, but today a lot of people know about our existence, even though our real purpose is a well-kept secret. For now, I can't tell you the innermost secret about our real purpose, but I can tell you that our main purpose is to protect Jorvik from Garnok, the dark force, so it won't grow stronger and take over the world. What can the Keepers of the Aideen do? We do what we have always done, since the dawn of time. Every time we notice that Garnok is gaining more power, we gather the full Soul Riders through a ceremony described in the Lost Book of Ceremonies. Ceremonies? <laughs> that cer ceremony can prevent Garnok from spreading, and we can push it back, at, at least for a while. 
We can never permanently stop Garnock, but so far we have managed to stop it from poisoning our world with its malevolence. Garnock is unpredictable and can be active once a year or can slumber for decades. During the thousands of years we have existed, we have not yet failed. Alright, what's the Soul Rider? There are always at least four Soul Riders and they are always special girls who, just like you, have a unique bond to their horses. Horses whose souls are one with the island of Yurik's true essence. Soul Riders are rare nowadays and we have problems finding new ones. We hope that one day you will become a Soul Rider and help us in the struggle against Garnak. And another and other dark powers who work against us. What do we know about Lisa and Ian? Sure, I can bring you up to speed on our friend Lisa. After we stopped Mr. Sands the last time and settled back into normal life, Lisa trans transferred to Star Academy in New York City where she studied music. She had, she had a true gift, singer, songwriter, guitar, and Man, could that girl own the stage. The total package. She started playing at clubs in Norvac. Linda and I would go to see her when we could. Even Ian showed up sometimes. Then she got a manager and started touring overseas. It all built up to her playing a festival back in Texas where she was born. Everyone was saying Lisa was on the verge of blowing up big time. But then... After that show, Lisa went dark. No more shows, no more posting on social media. I read the mean things some people said. That she couldn't take the pressure of fame. But I know that wasn't the truth. Lisa is the bravest girl I've ever known. You think being a rock star is pressure? Try being a soul rider. I knew she was coming back to Jorvik. I could feel it in my heart and in my birthmark. Herman at Jorvik stable said she had been by to take her horse Starshine out for rides. This was a few weeks ago. After that she disappeared without a trace. But we think she's still somewhere in Jorvik. Lida, care to share what we know about Anne's whereabouts? Oh. Our friend Anne is a pretty big deal is a pretty big deal in the dress, uh, dressage world. In the two years since we came together as as the Soul Rider, she and her horse Concord attended more and more Attended more and more competition both in Jorvik and about and about. That's how Anna is. When she puts her mind to something, she puts her whole heart into it. We were so proud of her. Two months ago, she went to France for the Sarge Invitational. During the competition, the announcer called her name, but she never entered the ring. She and Concord just disappeared. Anne's family very rich. The authorities thought it might have been kidnapping, but the expected ransom note never came. We suspect a dark horse behind their dis disappearance. I'm afraid that's all we know. What's, what's this place? The secret stone circle is a place like no other. Time and space work in different ways in here, compared to the rest of the world. We, the keepers of Aedeen, have the ability to travel here from different places on Jorvik when we could. When we hold a council meeting. Meetings, I meant. You can always return to this place and due to its special nature, you can meet us here again. Through the present but seeing the past, if you know what I mean. The clock is going too fast. We're, who are against the druids? Dark War, controlled by Mr. Sands, is one of our most powerful enemies. Thank goodness you realize that Mr. Sands is back in action in the island again. So we can get ready to act when they show themselves. Dark War claims to be a multinational company with the same interests... Interested? Interests? as GED, but we think that Mr. Sands is looking for a way to control Garnock and use that power, powerful force to take over the world. We don't think that's possible and that the only thing he will do is ruin our world trying. There are others who want to stop us or have their own agendas regarding Garnock, so be careful out there. We have to identify what they want and what they are doing. 
there are more stakeholders involved than ever before, and Garnock isn't even that strong yet. What does Justin have to do with this? As you proved, Justin is unfortunately Mr. Sands' grandson. It's clear that Mr. Sands has a purpose for him and that he has something big going on since he doesn't dare show his ugly face here again. We should invest some time and energy to find the poor boy. Not only to save him from Mr. Sands, but also to stop Mr. Sands' plans and maybe find out exactly what they want from Justin. What is the book of light ceremonies? Funny you should ask that. The book is used at the ceremony to prevent Garnock from growing in strength and they temporarily chase him away. Unfortunately, the book has been lost for a couple of hundred years and that's why we call it the Lost Book of Ceremonies. However, a copy of some of the most important chapters has been made and the four parts of the copy is divided between us druids. One day we hope to find the book because it will be it will make the ceremony more powerful and a bit and it contains secrets written by aged druids, which we have forgotten or don't understand anymore. The last time we acted against Garnock, the circumstances caused our soul riders to act a bit differently. Uh, that's the, that's the understatement of the year. What do we do now? You can return here whenever you want to ask us something. When the time comes, we will assign some tasks for you to perform. You have to be patient and wait until we have the right information, the right training and a teacher for you. Our perception of time is different in your world. You may think that time passes slowly. For us, it's a bit different. So we ask you to be patient. Besides learning how to be a soul writer, should you accept our offer to become just that? We must keep looking for Justin, Lisa and Ian. You also have to look for and try to identify whatever new enemies we have out there. As soon as we have a suitable task for you, we will let you know. Stella, we need you. Whew, that was all. Thanks, I don't have any more questions for now. Okay, Stella, you know that if you have any more questions, you can return here the same way I showed you. See you in Veildale. See you in Veildale. Talk to me when we meet there. Go back and wait. We will contact you soon. See you, Stella. Thanks for coming here. Time and space unfold. Ooh. All right. That was very exciting. And st the star circle is so beautiful now. It was beautiful in Starshine Legacy, but it's even more beautiful. And this episode gotta be long. <laughs> but we're gonna finish it up now by talking to Elizabeth and not start a new quest. Elizabeth, that was so cool. Oh. Welcome back, Stella. That went well, didn't it? And we met Fripp. But, as you can see, we are so over time, so we need to end the 100th episode that now contains a lot of exciting things, like the five leaf clovers that we gave to a witch, which seems not to be very good. And that we could see the stone circle. I have been waiting for so long for exactly that. And today it happened. Ah! So we are in a so good place in the game right now. And we're going to continue with so many quests. Um, I have a hard time to not continue right now with Elizabeth in the next episode. So normally I keep it a secret. But I think we will continue here in the next episode because hello it's too exciting so guys what do you think about that we have reached a 100 episode and that we actually can travel to the stone circle in the 100 episode ah, i'm just over the moon happy for that and we're just gonna continue and see what's gonna happen next and i'm just so excited to see what we gonna what's gonna happen what kind of tasks we're gonna get and so much more and of course saving lisa and anne that i really hope we can do so oh, this is gonna be so amazing so 
I will not keep it as a secret this time. We're gonna continue here in Veldale in the next episode because it's too exciting. That's for sure. And I can barely wait. <laughs> so give a thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Share it with your friends. And I see you in the next episode. Bye.